Mark, did Charlie take much persuading to stay here at Forest Green? I don't think it was a case of persuading. He had some, some good offers from from a lot higher up the pyramid and um, it was a case of making the right decision for him, really. Uh, I gave him my advice uh, on, on each sort of opportunity and it, it, it was down to him, really, what he wanted to do and I think he's he's arrived at the decision that he wants to have the opportunity to play more senior football and, and not necessarily be around an under 23s team you know he wants to he wants to make that step and, and continue to play men's football in the football league so credit to him for for doing that turning down more money and and coming back to forest green and presumably that was the advice you were saying would be the best decision for him anyway was it i think there was a lot to think about you know there's a there's a, there's a school of thought that you can stay or try and stay as high up the pyramid as you can for as long as you can um, but then you go into the to the realms of well you've got to do really well to get into a Premier League first team or a top championship first team um, or or you take the opportunity to play league football and and at the end of this season if he's played another 25 30 games his his stock's even higher in my opinion and how pleased were you with the way in which he developed last season because you know there was the improvement from December to May wasn't there yeah, I think when he came in, it was a it was a little bit of a rocky period, and and things weren't going great, and and supporters will will judge, um, and the first person that was going to get it was him, and um, and that was probably my fault of putting him in too early, but I had faith in his ability and his athleticism that that he could help the team, and the one thing I knew about him was that he, he would give me everything he got, he'd, he'd run through a brick wall for us, and um, that was what we needed at that time. And in some ways, managers with the situation of managing their sons, are they almost a little bit harder on the son? Do they you know, expect a little bit more, if you like? Yeah, definitely. You know, I'm tough on him because I, you know, I don't want anyone ever to say that he's only here or I'm only putting him in the team because, because he's my boy. But you know, I try and, try and drive him, try and advise him as well as I can, try and coach him as well as I can and give him that opportunity to, opportunity to be the best player he can. But he's certainly got to work hard now. Come, coming back pre-season in a few weeks' time to, to force his way into the team. And dealing with the family name, that's something you know all about as well. Yeah, it's not easy. It's not easy and that was a big part of the decision, having to deal with that. But we felt that, you know, with him being here at last season and sort of breaking the back of it and the supporters sort of changing their views, that it would be a little bit easier. And um, that was a big part of the thinking that, you know, for him to come back here, that it was familiar, that the supporters were familiar, the players took to him, and um, that made it a, an easier decision. He's your fourth new signing of the season. If you like, how many more do you need? Do you feel? I don't think it's an exact exact number. You know, there's a transfer window in place for us now in the football league, where at the end of August we have to have all our players, uh, you know, intact. We can't sign any loans after that, like like we could in the conference national league. Uh, we have to make sure we have our squad in place. So, you know, there'll be some that'll leave and there'll, and there'll be some more that come in. But um, we, we're still actively looking for players. We're not we're not rushing into things. We're trying to wait for, make sure we get the best value and, uh, and trying to take players that also add value to our squad, which is what we did last year. We got some exciting young players that we've had offers, big offers turned down. We've turned down big offers and... Um, we hope that continues. You know, I suppose it's one of the best things about this job for you that you're not in a position where you have to sell players. So if you can keep players and you want to keep players, you can. Yeah, the chairman wants us to, to be competitive again next year, like we all do. And to do that, we need to keep everybody here or we need to keep our best players here. And that's certainly what we intend to do. But we understand everybody has their price. <laughs>